Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the phase diagrams of a wide delta circuit, a balanced wide delta circuit, and we're going to look at both the voltages and the currents. And of course, we want to look at the line voltages and the phase voltages, the line currents and the phase currents. First of all, the voltages. We know that the voltage from A to N, from B to N, and from C to N are what we consider the phase voltages. Then the line voltages are the voltage from A to B, from B to C, and from C to A, which is the same as the voltage from A to B, from B to C, and from C to A over here. There's a relationship between them. Here you can see the phase diagram. We have VAN, VBN, and VCN, which are the phase voltages. And then you can see that the line voltages, VAB, VBC, and VCA, those are the magnitude of them is the square root of three times the magnitude of the phase voltages and they lead the phase voltages by 30 degrees. So if we want to compare VAN and VAB, you can see that VAB can be expressed as, this is what we call the line voltage, is equal to the square root of three times the phase voltage with a 30 degree lead angle. If we then look at the currents, it's a slightly different story. The magnitude of the line current is indeed the square root of 2 times the magnitude of the phase current. Notice that the phase currents are defined by the currents through the load impedances. IAB, IBC, and ICA, those are what we call the phase currents. And the line currents are the currents from the source to the load, IA, IB, and IC. We can see that the magnitude of the line currents is equal to the square root of 3 times the magnitude of the phase currents, but the line currents lag the phase currents by 30 degrees, so the proper relationship between the line current IA and the phase current AB is I and, hmm, I guess I shouldn't use small letters here, I should use big letters AB. It doesn't matter there, but it does matter here, so we should use big letters. So the line current A is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase current AB, with a lag angle of 30 degrees, which is evident when we compare it right here. And of course, the pairs are separated by 120 degrees. IBC lags IAB by 120 degrees, and IBC... Oh, that's not correct either. Wow, this should be ICA. There we go. And ICA lags IBC by 120 degrees, so that's a total phase angle lag of 240, or we can call it a lead angle of 120 degrees. So you can see that you can do the comparison for the currents and the comparison for the voltage in groups like that, but that's the key to remember. The line voltage is the square root of 3 times the phase voltage. The line current is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase current. Here we have a 30 degree lag angle, and there we have a 30 degree lead angle. And so with the important wide delta circuit, those are the key things to remember. And that is how it's done.